Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Omnus and today I will react to the top 10 Power Rangers songs. I have to be honest, I was never a huge fan of the Power Rangers. I never got into them to be honest. They just kind of look gimmicky and dorky and dated to me. So, you know, I, I never got them. But, um, you know, what's the thing? Fucking Zachary, Zachary Cooler requested um, Power Rangers to me. So I was like, sure. Um, yeah, I guess we can do them. I don't know a song by them. Maybe I know like their signature song, but outside of that, you know, maybe the team song, but outside of that, I have never heard a Power Rangers song in my life. Um, it was on Power Rangers series. That looks fucking chaotic. Fucking hell. It looks like a clusterfuck of shows. Uh, Power Ranger team song. There you go. It looks really 90s, so probably, I, I believe it. It's a 90 show, so there you go. Let's get into it. Um, I don't really have a favorite because they're literally just color palettes of each other. So, you know, they have different personalities. I get that. But I never got into the show. So, I can't really tell them apart, to be honest. So, there you go. These more phenomenal tunes have been stuck in our head for years. Not for me, for sure. Kind of high on 100%. So. And today we're cutting down our picks for the top 10 Power Rangers. Songs. Before we begin, we publish new Yeah, move on, please. Subscribe for more great content. Mm -hmm. For this lesson, we're looking at the toe tapping, heart pounding theme songs that got us pumped up for the multicolored teens with attitude. Whether during the opening credits, the morphing, the fight scenes, or when delivering the final blow, Megazord style. With different it looks really it's cheesy. It's not a bad thing, per se, but. Wait, was that a Transformer? And it kind of looks like, I don't even know what I'm on about, kind of like an avatar scene. Uh, by the way, Zachary is into this, Zachary Cooler. That was an animated fucking guinea pig as a, as a fucking teacher, are you fucking kidding me? I just think about I just think about if um what's the thing? If Power Metal would have a TV show, it would, it would be the Power Rangers. <laughs> That's probably why I'm not really digging this. I'm not a huge Power Metal fan. Every fucking five seconds. If I want to hear the hias. I play some fucking Link, which I'm probably gonna do after this uh, session, so there you go. Or Link, I'm gonna play some Legend of Zelda. Candle, best known for the English code those, are the, those are the only hias that count for me, so there you go. Oh, those kind of look like Raiden in a way. Those enemies. The enemies look better than the Power Rangers. Enough said. I am not feeling this. Oh, the P -P Power Rangers. Oh, yeah, this is a team song. There you go. Number eight, Power Rangers SPD. They really sound all the same to me. Power Rangers. But I wonder I just heard the, the one before. That's like the main one, right? That's like the most iconic. Oh, the pink one. I'm a girl. You didn't expect that? No, I didn't. Fucking hell. It's like Michael Bay and Power Metal. I just don't care. Fucking all the explosion shit. I mean, if you're actually like a Power Ranger fan, like I'm not hating on the show, it just ain't my thing. It just looks like Power. Uh, it just looks like a Michael Bay movie on steroids. That's how it looks to me. So, 
And granted, I hate Michael Bay, so there you go. This literally sounds like a Halloween song. <laughs> the power metal band, so there you go. I do actually like uh, I do actually like Halloween, so I do kind of dig this. What the fuck? Yeah, this literally just sounds like power metal, so there you go. It is appropriate for the power rangers though, so there you go. That's alright, move on. Oh yeah, I've heard of this one, the Lightspeed Rescue Team. I believe I grew up with this, uh, with this version, the 2001. I mean, all of them are just literally pop, pop, Power Ranger. <laughs> That's like literally all of them, so there you go. I mean, you can hate me for this, but... I, I cannot distinguish them from, uh, from each other, so there you go. It's just a literal like mock of Transformer uh, version, the Power Rangers. That's how it looks to me. I mean, you have to be like 10 years old and you have to be into shouting in anime to actually fucking dig the Power Rangers. I mean, come on. Huh? Or just like boy, boyish action shows in general, not just anime. Is there is there a Power Rangers anime? There probably is. Pro it probably exists. I mean, it's a Japanese uh, product, I believe. So there's probably an anime out there. So there you go. Granted, I do love me some anime, so I might watch that, but probably not. Oh, this literally looks like a Digimon ripoff or Pokemon. However you want to see it. Which more like Digimon to me, but sure. I just don't care. I really don't. Well, who? I don't know. I don't know any of them, so. Number four, Power Rangers Time Force. There's just something about science fiction. Yeah, the power. So well together, <laughs> Thanks for telling me that again. Fucking hell, man. It's the Power Ranger. Didn't know that. Heavy rock. With heavy rock. Nice. It's like my favorite word ever. People who describe hard rock as heavy rock. Or heavy metal was heavy rock. Those people are the best. And it's in the form of a ballad, retelling our hero's journey from the future to save the world. Couple all that with Jason Radford singing, and this energetic sci-fi jingle will ensure that listeners and viewers are in for a good time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Watch Margin narrator kill yourself. Fuck you all. Oh god, ripping off his shirt, yeah, alright. Gay folks, come well, in, not hating on you, but there's like some action going on, so there you go. Alright, let me hear it, maybe? Maybe? Can I hear it, no? This epic instrumental keeps talking all the time, nice. This nice instrumental keeps the acapella all the time. Thanks for Mojo.
you literally just skip the whole instrumental and you just talked over it and I couldn't hear it so I can't judge the fucking instrumental if you're gonna talk over it I don't want to bash the Power Rangers but it looks really bad for them right now so there you go Number two, Power Rangers in space. for me at least Alright, this one kinda sounds interesting. Du, 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 du. You know, I do like that melody. It's like the first Power Rangers song that I actually kinda remember right now. Or that I can actually hum in my head. Uh, I don't really like the vocals. Tot een yellow Power Rangers. Like, fucking hell, man. <laughs> Who the fuck cares? Who fucking cares? I kind of like the instrumental and the kind of spacey vocals, but at the same time the vocals are kind of boyish and shouty in a way. When it looked like the series would be coming to an end, the band pulled out all the stops for the final season with an epic space opera, complete with a rockin' theme song once again by Ron Wasserman. Oh, and they're just literally just repeating their name. Just slamming it in your head. Power Rangers, Power Rangers, go watch it. Epic. In addition to its electrifying tune and addictive lyrics, this is also the first. Addictive album. lyrics? Power Rangers, Power Rangers! It's not really addictive, it's repetitive. That's what it is. But sure. Melody, sure. It, had, it did have a melody at the beginning though, but it just sounds like. Every other Power Rangers soundtrack later, so there you go. Or soundtrack theme song. Thank God there isn't a Power Rangers soundtrack. I at least hope there isn't. There probably is, probably is. But I've never heard it, is what I'm trying to say. Thank God I've never heard that. I do like this, do, do, you know, when it goes back and forth, back and forth, I do like that melody. That's like the first distinguished uh, melody that I like from Power Rangers, but, you know, it's good, but it's not so great that I'm gonna go out of my way to actually listen to it, so, there you go. Maybe number one, though, but probably not. But Power Rangers in space is definitely my favorite so far, number two, so there you go. Maybe number one can even be better, but I think that's just literally like the OG soundtrack or soundtrack, the OG uh, theme song. So there you go. Uh, Power Rangers, Dino Charge, and Dino Supercharge. It's literally just go go Power. It's just literally like the original one, for sure. It's just literally like the old school one, but a bit more, just a bit different, just a bit more modern. There's like no point in mentioning it. Uh, Power Rangers Jungle Fury. I want to say this is definitely a product of its time, but arguably all of the Power Rangers are a product of their time. Arguably all of them are. So there you go. Yeah, the original one, right? Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Is this like the version that is just, just literally like a Transformers ripoff? I mean, yeah, it's the original. Of course it is. Okay, so Z Zachary Kulov thinks I like the Power Rangers because they are associated with heavy metal. I have to be honest here, I'm you know each year I'm less and less of a metal head. I really don't want to associate myself with metal. I actually do quite love a lot of metal. Showcase here. If metal is good, it's the best shit ever. But most metal is very bland and very uninspired, like this, if you want to call it metal. Or power metal, or, you know, deathcore isn't really metal, new metal isn't really metal, false metal, you know, that's false metal, I would say. Uh, it's just a lot of shit like that, I just fucking hate, I don't, don't care for it, you know, a lot of, like, these upcoming bands that don't do anything 
special, you know, these black and death metal bands. I just don't give a shit. I do, I do like some, you know, old school death and black metal albums. Pointing at Agalog, but they're like a post metal band, but they're fucking amazing. But uh, yeah, I don't, you know, I just like to broaden my horizons, and you know, people that think that I'm a hardcore metalhead, you know, I'm not really. But I, I, I will say this: I, I'm hardcore for some metal acts. So there you go. But I'm kind of hardcore in every genre like that. I'm hardcore for some pop, hardcore for some prog, you know, hardcore for some. Uh, for some very few rap, you know, even that, hardcore for some EDM, so there you go. I'm hardcore in kind of everything, for few, but there you go. But not hardcore for this though, so there you go. Yeah, it's just literally like the original one, so there you go. This is definitely the best looking Power Rangers one though. This literally just looks anime with a bunch of uh, animatronics just like luring on the fucking green screen or like this uh, plastic land. It definitely looks the best because there aren't like Power Rangers like fucking around on the scene and just like, you know, a bunch of fucking teenagers, uh, you know, fucking fist fighting each other. I just hate those visuals and I'm glad that. Some animatronics are on the screen instead of the Power Ranger themselves. Meaning that I'm not a huge fan of Power Rangers, so there you go. There have been dozens of remixes and covers of this original song. Even yep, no you just remixes. fucking uh, let me hear them all of them, so there you go. How long can you milk of like an easy as fuck fucking theme song? I mean, come on. I hate those visuals. Oh, fist to your face, logo. Mm. Fucking end this. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these I don't care for the Power Rangers. I really don't. I really don't give a shit. Dino Thunder, Ninja Storm, and SPD Childhood is Childhood. Um, 666 likes, that is a very nice ratio, but I don't give a shit. Jungle Fury isn't on this list. Triggered. I really don't care. Watch Mojo hating on Mystic Force as usual. <clears throat> Where was Mystic, Mystic Force then? It sounds cool though. I don't even know, yeah, I don't even care. Even people who hate Power Rangers have to admit that the theme songs are awesome. They literally all sound the same to me, so... Yeah, I guess I do hate Power Rangers. Fucking despise how upbeat and in your face. Ugh, we're color palettes of each other, I like, fucking hate that, so... Yeah, I guess I'm not a Power Rangers fan. Um, Watch Mojo is from 90s. They're literally from like the 2000s, so there you go. 90s forever. No. They, they literally wear their own merch, which s displays running out of ideas since like 2006. So, you know, saying that they came from 2006, I'm pretty sure, because that's when YouTube was created, I'm pretty sure. Or uh, early 2005, so there you go. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure on Val Valentine's Day 2005 was, you know, YouTube created. Uh, February 14, 2005, so there you go. <clears throat> um, yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, I kind of despise the Power Rangers for just how upbeat and obnoxious and how bright and how annoying they are to me. The first two or the, the number one and number two songs are pretty good, I have to admit. The number one song is a classic or the theme song rather. The space one is probably my favorite though, that one sounded the most interesting to me, but I will not return to this, that's for fucking sure. So, uh, thank you for watching this video, if you, love the, if you love Power Rangers and you think I'm wrong and I need to get into it, then let me know, I'll probably never watch it, but sure. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one, like on the channel, if you this like uh, let me know what you think about the Power Rangers, I fucking despise them, but if you like them, let me know. Uh, you probably like them, so you clicked on this video and you disliked them already, so fuck you. Go fuck yourself. 
But uh, in all seriousness, let, let me know why you like it, you know, in the comments. I can appreciate it, but it's not for me, so there you go. Peace and uh, have a good one. Later.